Hey guys, Dr. Gilmore here. My friend Adam has asked me to watch this video and make a comment on it. So I'm going to watch it with you first and then I'll come back in when it's finished and tell you what I think. Recording. World's grossest scab. Put your finger next to it to show the size. Up oh, by it. On the other side. There you go. Dang, the thing stinks. <laughs> Does it hurt? No, oh, but I can feel it. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I see blood. Go up next to the scab. Um, Cutting on this the scab. Okay, I can feel it though. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh. that burns. It burns. Oh my god! Look at the size of this scab. For you scabbies out there, look at that. Look at my finger now. That's not a scab. That's skin. That's this is a burn from a muffler of a car. And Don't ask why. It's what three Nasty. months? Nasty. Three months? That's three months in. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. So now we've watched it, and uh, we're going to watch it again. I'm going to uh, turn their volume down, and I'm just going to kind of talk to you. The first thing I want to let you know: this is not a scab. Uh, what this is, or what you're looking at, this real crusty, thickened, uh, pizza slice uh, shaped, almost part of this wound. That is an eschar, uh, and I'll, I'll put the word on the screen for you, eschar. And what this is, is basically a fibrous extension of the wound itself. Uh, it's not a true scab, uh, it's an eschar, and these have to be cut away almost, or, or basically torn off, because it, it actually contains um, tissue extension from the wound, and, and that's why it's cutting, and that's why you'll hear her say, ow, uh, she does feel a little bit of discomfort uh, as uh, whoever's doing this procedure uh, is cutting away. Uh, the second thing is she mentions that this is uh, was caused by a burn or this developed after a burn, a muffler burn. And you can see that um, after three months there's still a great deal of healing that needs to occur. Burns typically do not heal from the bottom up. They heal from the edges or the sides. Uh, so it takes a lot longer for the burn to heal. And in fact, uh, this is why many times with large burns, we have to um, perform skin grafts. Uh, overall, you know what? This is not a lot different than what you'd see in a, um, you know, a wound care center on a regular basis. The only, my only critique of this is, okay, certainly they could have used gloves and it would have been cleaner, but uh, they didn't remove enough tissue. There's more tissue that needs to be removed. Um, there is non-vital uh, tissue below that eschar uh, that could have been removed as well. But, you know, this is pretty typical for this kind of a wound. And, uh, Adam, thanks for letting me uh, uh, comment on this. Thanks, guys.